Good morning, YouTube. What's up, everybody? Well, what I've got here for us today is uh, I'm going to be showing off all my boxes and sort of just showing you guys what I put in my computer that I just built. So, to go over everything, I'm going to start with uh, simple stuff, just like my devices. I've got my Zone and or Allen and Heath Zone XD53s. They're 53 uh, millimeter driver, high power surround sound DJ professional production quality headphones. So, amazing, amazing product for only $150. They're nice and heavy. Really, really, uh, just a fine piece of equipment right here. These guys really do do the job for me. I'd highly, highly recommend them. Even though they are not for gaming, you know, like recommended for it. It's, I mean, if you've played Skyrim and you know about listening to just, I mean, shit, the virtual thunderstorms alone are unbelievable. It's like being there. I, I thought there was, I thought my window was open because I heard birds chirping that were so loud and it was pestering me and it was in the game. So it was awesome. That was a really fun experience. <laughs> my next thing here is the Cyborg keyboard uh, by Mad Cats. So it's pretty nice. It's got a uh, it's got a uh, metal keys as far as the space bar, the W A S and D, and these go. It's all metal plated so that you can uh, wear them out, and or rather they last longer without wearing them out. And it's got a bunch of uh, key bindable buttons and such. And uh, I'll touch up here, and it works amazingly. You can change the colors around W A S and D, the space bar this and then each section of keys to different things so like mine I have set up to green and red I'll give you guys a quick look at it when I'm showing you everything inside the computer next is the case we'll get straight to that and that was the Scout CM Cooler Master Scout and uh, it's it's fucking sweet, man. I love this thing. It's got the handle on top so that I can move it for land parties, which I find myself doing a fair amount. And uh, everything inside is clip clip right in, you know. No screw assembly makes it nice and easy. Um, yeah, all around, pretty pretty happy with it. I wish it had uh, could really come with more fans, but I guess I'm just gonna have to buy a couple. So, and then inside this, I have all the boxes of my components for you guys. So let's just get down to the boring stuff, get them quick. Got myself this disk drive. Here's my uh, my new mouse. I went with the Anchor, and this is 8,000 DPI and a thousand hertz per per millisecond pull uh, pulling rate. Uh, it's got nine buttons, uh, so that does include the click. You know your standard left and right click and your mouse wheel, so it has, I think, yeah, not not totally nine, but you know, and it's supposedly ergonomic, but it does. I actually really do like the way that it it fits to my hand. It's a lot better than that uh the Wow mouse that I had before that, definitely. Personally, not that big a fan of Razer products, but that's just me. So here's a fun thing. Here's our graphics card. This beast is totally awesome. Spent a you know spent a fair amount on it. it was way worth it I think, and uh, I am only running Windows 7, but this supposedly supports up to four monitor displays, so that theoretically you could have your triple monitor peripherals and one above, so you can be looking shit up on Google while you're immersed in the game. Awesome thing, and you can overclock to 1100 megahertz, so really nice nice graphics card. Got the uh, one terabyte hard drive Seagate Barracuda. Uh, here's my motherboard. Um, I went a little, little lower quality on the motherboard, but it does have uh, the one second overclocking. If I get myself a nicer cooling system and another graphics card and want to kind of go all out with it, which is something I have been sort of thinking about, it's just going to have to take a little more time. Got to get a few more people watching my stream. <laughs> All right, here's the power supply. TX65 or uh, 650M Corsair. 
and I think that's that's yeah the enthusiast series modular so pretty nice I'm a pretty decent fan of course there um, I like their power supplies uh, I've also got their um, ma their RAM rather which I'll just uh, talk about now I got 8 gigs of that which I'm also gonna upgrade to 16 once I get you know another 50 bucks wireless card so for again for LAN parties pick up internet wherever I need it what you're all watching me on now is this uh, life cam cinema HD and that's a 720 HD video chat so high quality video and the last but not least is my processor my 3.8 gigahertz F uh 3.8 gigahertz four core AMD FX and that's the FX 4300. So yeah, this one I've been uh, having no problems with this thing. It's it, you know a lot of people say AMD runs hot and uh, uh, I was having a little problems with it at first when I was trying to stream, but I was running the game in the highest resolution and streaming in the lowest resolution possible and I think that was causing some problems so I have had not, I have not had any problems since so all I can say there is that is absolutely wonderful so then the other thing I wanted to show you guys real quick is I'm just going move some crap around here but I've got to just uh, show you guys what's inside this monster so uh, and obviously it is on so Lifting you up, guys. Man, hook you from the back there. Apologize in advance for that sort of chaos. <laughs> Alright, let's get down to business. So, here's what we got, guys. This is from the back left. As you can see, you get the LED fans going. Goes back. There's my RAM. CPU spinning. GPU, as you can see, is humongous. Covers this whole thing. There's the wireless card right above it. Right there. There's my power supply again. Sorry, there's not much light back here. And then there's my hard drive and all the cords that I concealed. And uh, a lot of people complain about. Um, this this brand of case not having enough uh, uh, one of these back plates where you can uh, conceal cords, but mine does most certainly, and uh, it's perfect, just perfect. And there you go, there she is, Nora Glory, and she has the stealth mode button for if you decide to turn off those LEDs. All right. And one quick look at the keyboard for you guys. There she goes. And as you can see, you can change those colors. Alright. Excellent. Let me get you back up here. Alright, and again, sorry about that. I am just moving the webcam around. Alright guys, thanks so much for watching with King Gorks here, and that's my gaming rig that I've just built. I plan on getting some upgrades in there to take it over the top, but I just really wanted to show everyone, uh, people have been asking about it, so now you've seen all the components, you can look them up if you want to know about them, you've seen the box, you've seen it inside, you've seen it in action. It's not much, but it's pretty pretty. pretty. <laughs> Alright, thanks guys.